a video back again quick one um i want to talk very quickly about um no uh, yeah about welcome week so people that are coming in you know new students that are coming in because obviously we know that the number of international application have reduced significantly i mean i know because i'm in the system we know how many students that used to come and now how many students are coming but still students are coming even though the there's a huge drop and schools are feeling it we are feeling it um but there are still people coming in and so I wanted to do a short one to talk about, you know, do, or to talk to those people in terms of those that are coming in. Um, I don't know if this will, if, if this is late or not, but uh, if anyone finds it useful, that's all I want. So generally what I want to talk about is the fact that right now you need to prepare. Of course, I'm sure you're preparing. <laughs> but well, what I was going to say is, I hope you put plan in place for, you know, significant things. And those things will probably be, I think the first thing is you know, your flight tickets. If you're not in the country yet, I think yesterday I met one of the new students that had just come to join us. It was quite exciting to see her, you know, getting ready for her um, application, uh, uh, registration and all of that. So uh, anyway, flight tickets, pack food. I'm talking to my people in this one, you know. A lot of food you need to bring in as much food as you can obviously you need to also keep in mind some things are expensive especially in Nigerian context I'm talking about now some things are expensive and you want to really weigh them out if you if you can go on website I think you can access most of these our um, all these stores that we have here in the UK um, and just check out how much are they selling some of the things. There are some things that you don't really need to bring. I'll tell you, for example, for in my opinion, I don't think you need to bring rice. You know, the rice here is really affordable. Um, things like um, maybe milk, except if you're very particular about its brand of milk, I wouldn't really be bring milk. Um, spag, noodles. Well, if you have a particular brand of noodles then maybe you bring that but if not things i will bring are like the local stuff those are the things i will bring dry fish of course you know crayfish um beans um gari uh egusi ogbono i'm listing these there are so many so many so many so many things the first thing i would always say is bring soup based items soup based things that you use to make soup um, whatever, ukwehe, ukuroko, you know, all these things, stockfish, whatever, whatever. They are always very expensive here, um, or they most likely will be more expensive than they are in Nigeria. So you can bring these things. Um, you can bring, then you can bring, you know, favorite things that you like, you know, brands that you actually do like exceptionally. There are some things you don't mind, you know, like I said, rice, you, don't mean, you may not mind the brand, um, but if you have particular things like milk, I know some people, they like like maybe Dano milk or they, have, they like pig milk. Those things are here, but they can be a bit expensive. So if you have the bag space, you know, allowance in your uh, luggage allowance, then obviously you can bring them in. I would always say anything that has got to do with food, um, make sure you're checking them in. Put them in your check-in item. They shouldn't go in your hand luggage because you just don't want that stress. Um, what else? What else? What else? Clothing, you need to bring some clothing. I would advise to reduce on traditional outfits because you most likely may not be wearing them as much. <laughs> um, so, you know, those nice gele and kara maybe one or two of them just my opinion i know some people go to church and they would like to wear them but to be honest you won't really be dwelling in wearing most of those um if you can get something warm maybe just one jacket um but then when you come in here you can then assess you know charity stores and these other you know olio for example is a free app where you can look for some items or even facebook marketplace is also another place you can get free or you can get them at really good um, prices so i wouldn't really clothing would not be something that i would really advise you pile up on um what else do you need in your bag food is essential like i said like you you should have depending on your flight you should have a about maybe 46 kg check-in item um luggage i would probably be putting maybe 
maybe 30 kg of food uh, and then clothing for whatever is left off, off of that and then maybe shoe maybe one or two try and get black because most jobs either um hotel you know hospitality um, um security uh, uh care all these you know factory most of them they would want you to have black so black trouser will be essential and then black shoe when i say black i mean plain black no stripes no designs plain black for shoe and trouser and then um they may most likely give you their own uniform in terms of you know the shirt so or maybe white shirt so but at least i would say black trouser then i would advise you get a backpack um if you especially ladies you know we like our handbags you most likely will be going with backpack and the trainers will be nice now some of these things you find them here but if you need them before you really get to know the environment and where it's cheap and whatnot that's why i'm saying maybe you can get them from home from your home country if it's cheaper and it's easier for you to assess then you hopefully have most of the things you need you come in obviously you get your travel documents um everything that you need your visa your passports make them available if you're coming as a dependent um i say this because they are still uh, you know um so people that are coming for research degree for example are still able to bring dependents so if you're coming as dependent bring your evidence of relationships to the main applicants all of the things you need your tv test make them um put them in a place that is easily accessible i say this because i have i've actually had someone who was almost turned back because they checked in those documents and they were not able to get access it was difficult stressful things you just don't want um so put them in your backpack or your handbag or hand luggage in sh in short just somewhere you can easily access it then you come into the country i don't want this to be too long but i think i'm going to maybe continue in terms of once you get in, what then happen, or what you should think about the rest, the rest. All right. See you guys. Have a good evening. Take care. Bye-bye.